Hi everyone and welcome back to Carefree Caravanning. This week we are in Wales and we are in Langlochlin. Langlochlin. Lang Langlochlin. Oh, I hope that's right. So all the Welsh people out there, I'm really sorry. And it's going to get worse. We are going, <laughs> we are going to the aqueduct, yeah. the one beginning with P. And I'm really not sure how to we pronounce it. We have asked it. a couple of people how to pronounce and it. And they say it's just the aqueduct. The aqueduct, so. <laughs> I think it might be Podcasocta aqueduct. <laughs> Potsahu? Potsahu? Podcasocta. <laughs> right, so we're off to Pod anyway, Hunters. Apologies for the mispronunciation, but we're going to go and have a little wander around. The sun's okay. just about to come out, so fingers crossed um, it won't rain. That would be nice. Okay, so we're just going to take you along for the journey and uh, show you what we're seeing along the way. Thank you. We're here at the visitor centre, so let's go and see if someone can tell us how to pronounce the name properly. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Please, could you tell us how to pronounce the name of the aqueduct? Yeah. Don't say aqueduct. <laughs> <laughs> That's what everybody's been saying. Pont Cassata. Pont Cassata. Cassata. Pont Cassata. It's hard. It's hard to describe how you do the double L sound. Right. So instead, it'd be much easier to say L, so Pont Casalta. But that's not the correct way to say, is it? Pont no, Casalta. But Pont Casach. It's only Welsh speakers who can actually pronounce it properly. That's why. So how do I? How teach me how to do the double L? Um. <laughs> so you're not Welsh. I am Welsh. So how would you pronounce it? I don't know how to actually describe how you do it. <laughs> uh, can you say it again for us? Yeah, Pont. Cassata. It's like putting Pond your. Cassata. Yeah, kind of, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. brilliant. And how do I be pronounced this area? Langochlin? Oh, that's four miles in the other direction. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm completely in the wrong place then. <laughs> this, this area is Trevor. It's where? Trevor. Trevor? Trevor. Yeah. Trevor. Oh, yeah. Trevor. So, okay. uh, yeah, Langochlin is four miles the other way. Yeah. Oh, right. And I was never good at geography at school. <laughs> no worries. Thank oh, you thanks so a lot. Much. Cheers. So we're in Ponty Socklet Aqueduct and Trevor Basin. I remembered that just by um, Did you memory. just say we're in chocolate? I didn't say chocolate. I'm sure you said we're in chocolate. I did not say. I said, I said we're in Ponty, Ponty, Ponty Chocolate. Only you. Right. If you want to have a look at that. That's interesting. What is it? It's like a hand. Huh? Oh, I don't know. Is it? Representing all the tools that were used to build the aqueduct because you've got. I'm not sure. You've got bricks. And you've Are got you making this up as you go along? I am, I am. Yeah. But it looks. It's really interesting. Yeah. I like things like this. Hmm. It's a shame there's not a board with information on it so I can tell you more about it. No. Unless there's one on the other side. There probably is on the other side. Maybe, 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 maybe not. No. Okay. Hang on, hang on. No. No, that's not it either. <laughs> very it's very, very narrow ground here, isn't it? That's why they're called narrow boats, Keith. <laughs> yeah, look, there's no space at all. Oh yeah. gosh, we're coming up to the what is it, to aqueduct, look. Yeah. They're literally just going across it. Wow, look at that. Oh, I think I'm starting to get dizzy. Oh. Gosh. Right. So we are now on, oh dear, I think I better hold me GoPro. So we are now on the world's highest aqueduct. And 
Are you losing your bottle, Michelle? Dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. Right. Right, let's go. Kind of wobbly, ain't you? I won't lie. I'm feeling a little bit dizzy. Don't like heights. <laughs> a little bit wobbly. So this is the, um, the viaduct, and this is what I'm looking at. As you can see, the very, very high, extremely high. Hello, Michelle. <laughs> so that's the view from the Iaduct Vi Viaduct. Viaduct. The River D. Who? That's the River D flowing underneath us. D. Never heard of her. And more people. And then the other side. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And this is where we walked so far. What's interesting? about this aqueduct is that we met several people on here not only people but dogs as well sorry can you hear me yeah that are actually conquering their fears by walking across this aqueduct I mean, it's so high i am really feeling quite dizzy i mean the height it's just it's 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 breathtaking view yeah, can you see? Yeah. But there are yeah. people storming along, they're hanging on to the rails. Holding on to the rails, so yeah. Let me pass, let me pass, I'm conquering a fear. And people yeah. walking with their dogs in their arms saying, my dog's conquering his fear. Yeah. So it's really interesting, it's a fabulous place. Yeah. Absolutely. So this is the tallest aqueduct in, I'm not it's sure if it's world. in the country or in the world. Um, I will get the correct details for you, but I can't really, I've got some information in my bag. Nervous? <laughs> I've got some information in my bag, but I can't really look at it because I have to hang on to the. Are you conquering your fears? Well, I, I didn't think. I, ha I haven't got a fear of heights. I do get slightly dizzy when, <laughs> even on a step ladder. I've got to be honest. Yeah. But this, when I look over the edge, everything goes a bit blurry. But yeah, just look at these views. Yeah. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Right, we're going to carry on walking. We're going to carry on walking. We've got a nice entrance nice empty-ish walk and another thing is we, we keep passing people and they want me to get on that side near the water and I just can't do it I think I'm going to fall in so yeah, I just have, video it if you fall in but I just have to stand here like this and let them pass I'm not moving <laughs> not moving no, these, <laughs> the, these people are conquering their fears so you know well really I'm not right. getting wet <laughs> Right. Oh, there's lots oh. of lovely sheep over there as well, look, in the field. And some horses grazing. Right, we carry on walking. Yeah, let's carry on. It's clear now, so don't have to worry about getting pushed in the water. You can pay for a, uh, a, a trip on the canal boat. Don't know how much it is, but you can actually pay for that boat we just saw earlier on. Uh, that uh, is a chargeable service. So that was the walk across. Um, Shell's not happy about going back the same way, so we're going to walk go back under it. So well, I'm not this quite is... sure where it's going to take us, but there's steps leading down, so we'll just follow them and see where it takes yeah. us to. Okay, so this is what we're looking at at the moment. I'll just turn the camera around. So that's the viaduct we just came across, and this is where we're going over here. So we'll see. Oh dear, we're under it now. Whoa. 
Ooh, spooky. Oh, we're going up again. Oh, we're going up the other side now. That was a bit, a bit of a mistake. Ooh. Oh dear. Well, that went slightly wrong because all that did is took us under the viaduct and to the other side. So this is now. <laughs> now we're going to go down again. Go. She got it wrong. <laughs> she got it wrong. So this is where we are now. We're just on the other side and we can't actually walk back there because it's blocked off. You could try jumping across. What about you? I'm not trying, but you could try if you wanted to. Hmm, maybe not. Yeah. Maybe not. So we're going to walk back under it again and go to where we were and then walk back. See you soon.